black and blue jig, also known as the crutch in my terms. We're going to learn how to tie this. You ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bassin 101. The black and blue jig. I call it the crutch. Why not? Black and blue is, if there's only one color of jig to throw, it'd be black and blue. But you'd be, you know, limiting yourself. But, I mean, really, I've caught more on black and blue. I'll probably have any other color, but other colors catch fish too. You have to let the bass tell you that. We're going to learn how to tie this little beauty. You ready to go to the tying table? Let's do it. Okay guys, so show you how I do the crutch. Black and blue kind of deal. Again, I tape off blue painter's tape. I tape off the weed guard. Make sure it's tight because you don't want that sucker popping back on you. Again, lock tight super glue. Just a small dab because I don't want this skirt sliding around as I'm tying it. Now, the recipe for the tie, again, I'm doing this skip cut tying, refer to the uh, brown and orange video. This, I don't have it, I don't need it, but the blue, I do. The reason is, this is a 30 strand skirt, or this is I have 30 strands right here they'll wrap all the way around so I'm not worried about it so the recipe is 30 black 15 blue and 6 regular blue tinsel not light blue this is regular blue I like the tinsel because it lays flat all right now that I've started this Take this black around, I'm going to look at it, and I am center tying it. I'm not adding one side more than the other. Actually, that is a little off center. Let's go there. I'm going to loose tie it, make sure, and then I'll snug it down. Like I said, I use black for all my thread because there's black in the head, black in the lead guard. And this is where the skip cut comes into play. Rather than just tying just a straight blue on the bottom, by doing a skip cut and keeping your ends intact, now you can kind of move this blue around a little bit. I like to come up the sides along the bottom. I kind of leave the top alone by getting it right up to the very peak. Is where I usually put that. I snug it down. And lastly is the flash. Now the flash, I don't bunch it up in one area. I spread it around just a little bit, only on the bottom. I don't do the top or the sides. And I do it very loosely, so I can kind of move it around a little bit. That's pretty good. Sometimes that tinsel is a pain in the butt talks. Lieutenant Diane. Okay. Next we have Sally Hansen's No Chip. I go to a drug, uh, I go to eBay to buy these. I, I will not walk into a store and buy free nail polish. <laughs> Won't do it. Alright, so we got. 
that. A couple of whip knots, which will soak right into that nail polish. Never had this fail on me, not once. Okay. A little bend there with the vice right there. tape, blue painter's tape is holding down the flash. I'll take the blue, which did not separate very well for me. Black, I'll do it in half sections so you're not trying to cut this big tab at once. And as always, the black does beautifully. Some of them got away from me. Again, break it in half. You pull it down a little bit. Don't, don't be don't be afraid to pull it down. Pretty tight because it won't snap as part as good as you as good if you don't. And then the blue. All right. I don't think I see any any clumps anywhere. We're looking pretty good. Tape off of here. You hurt that wee guard a bit. Alright, so Use the wide end side of a comb. We're just going to kind of comb this tinsel through here. We're also double checking to make sure there's no hang ups. And there's your black and blue. Now, see, the blue is hidden inside the black. That's why I tie it like that. Rubber is very bold, and I like to try to keep it as natural looking as I can. And here's the next little trick right here. Potato chip clip. And what I do with this, it holds the skirt flat so that I can trim it. And what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this straight across about three quarters of an inch below the hook. And then from the center, I'm going to 45 it to where it just comes to the very bottom of that hook point or the, the, the hook bend. And again, straighten it up. it just like that.
Now what this does is it gives me the bulk for the trailer. Again, it doesn't leave the strands really fine and short. And there you go, guys. Black and blue. Just a little bit of tinsel on the bottom. In case you're using metal flake. I see a couple of stragglers right there. But you got the umbrella effect. And then you turn it flat and you get more of a chewed up. It's not really straight across, it's kind of a chewed up effect. And soaking that alcohol really soften that stuff up so it looks really good. And uh, I think it turned out well. So there's the crutch black and blue. Well guys I hope you enjoyed that. 45 strand skirt, simple black and blue. That skip tie just kind of wraps that blue all the way around. It makes it very subtle. Mostly on the bottom, a little bit of that flash. And it's just it lays down springs just nice. I don't like a rubber skirt to just to go flush, just you know, hang flat like that, like a silicone does. I don't like that. I like the rubber to have a little spring. So when it's, so when it sits on the bottom, you know, that skirt will just float right up. So that's what you want. But there you go, the crutch, as I call it, black and blue jig. Hope you guys enjoyed this. May the Father bless you and keep in keeping Yeshua's name. And until next time, fish on.